Hi everyone and welcome. I cannot wait to share today's projects with you all. They are so pretty. I'm so happy with how they've come out. They're unique and you can use them for spring and Easter. So I'm starting the first project with a lantern. I've got this background, you can print one off the internet, whatever you like. I did want to have some rabbits in the background but this is all I had. It's actually two sides but I prefer this side because this is going to be a bit more shabby chic anyway. So I'm just going to fold it a little bit to place it in the back. I'm going to take some straw, this was from packaging from a gift that I received. I'm going to place it at the bottom on the base. Now I'm taking some eggs that I have decorated from a previous project last year. So I added some lace to it and these embellishments. And I've got three in total. They are really pretty, aren't they? Where's my third? Here it is. And they're in lovely soft colours. I'm going to place that throughout on the bottom. Then I'm taking this ceramic rabbit and I'm placing him inside at the back in the corner. Leo is here keeping me company. He hasn't done that for a while. He's usually sleeping in his couch room, which is over there. And we're going to add some flowers. I've got this really beautiful bouquet here and this one. And I really love how small they are. They just go really well with my crafts because I tend to do smaller scales. And I like the colours as well. So I'm just going to get the heads up. And I'm just going to place it throughout. So I think right here where there's a bit of a gap. And then we'll take another one off and see where we can fit that. So I just went ahead and placed that in the corner and see if that goes on nicely, otherwise we'll go without. I think it might be too much with it, so let's get rid of it. And with this one, what was remaining from this, I'm just placing in the corner there. And then to finish off the inside, I'm just going to scatter some pearls. This was off a bracelet, as you can see. Now he's got into his spoon, Leo. We're going to decorate the outside of the lantern a little bit. I'm taking these flowers again. So I'm going to hot glue this on the side. I've just taken another flower head off this bouquet. And I'm going to add that. You need to trim it sometimes. So because this is sticking out, just trim it a little bit. And we'll stick it right over here, which hides this horrible part. And then finish off with this lovely head here. Again, just trimming it a little bit. I'm taking this wooden embellishment, it's butterfly, and I'm going to stick it here. And I think we're actually done. I think this is just stunning, but you have to let me know what you think in the comments. Like usual, I love to hear from you. I just really like the style. This is so me. If you've been following me for some time, you'd probably know that. It's a mix of shabby chic, whimsy, and I love everything in the miniature scale. Now today's video is extra special because it's part of a collaboration. There's going to be a playlist with more Easter ideas for you to enjoy, so make sure to check it out once you're done watching my video. For the next project, I'm taking this wooden candle holder that was initially from Ikea. I got it from a thrift shop. And this beautiful rabbit, this just does not suit the other decor that I've made, so I am going to paint it. I don't have much paint here, so I'm really hoping that it's enough to cover this rabbit. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go over it in another colour. So I'm taking my sponge brush just to do this. I just need it a bit lighter than this. So I'm going to do this, dry it, and then come back. That took quite a while, but I'm back now. And I've painted it all by hand. I'm going over it with a colouring pencil just to add some colour at the top where the flowers are. And I think I might do that as well at the nose here. And then perhaps the eyes. So that's a makeover on the rabbit. We've given it some eyes, nose, and a bit of blush, and then the detail on the flowers. I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up. 
and I think I'm definitely much happier with how she looks now. So now we're going to decorate around the candle holder. Now I have this small white wreath which pretty much fits perfectly on here and this is going to be great as the foundation so i'm going to take some greenery i've got some eucalyptus here and i'm going to cut it to size and just make it into a wreath so we're covering the actual wreath and then we're going to build up on that with some flowers as well and little eggs so i've cut the wire off and now i'm taking my hot glue to stick it down And then just like that, going all throughout with a bit of hot glue here and there. So this is the other eucalyptus. I'm not going to need it all, so I'm going to cut it about here. Now in the centre, because we have this hole, for the candle which the rabbit goes on but you can still see the hole I'm going to cover it up with some moss so I'm still decorating the outside I'm taking this bouquet again with these lovely small flowers and I'm going to hot glue because this is, just keeps coming out once I've removed it off the stem so I'm just going to hot glue the pieces together first I'm going to have this one longer and then again just trimming and we're going to add hot glue to the bottom. Now I'm taking these styrofoam eggs and I'm going to add one right here. We might add a few more, I've also got some different colours to play with. I've got these bigger ones on stakes, I think this one might look good. Let's have a look. I'm going to go with the cream coloured one, adding that to the side and then we're going to see if we want any more flowers. I'm bringing back the pearl beads, so I want to add one right here. And at the back here, you just want to make sure that you're not stuffing it too much, but when you see empty gaps, do fill them in. I'm taking a larger flower here. And again, just play with the colours and the lengths of everything. You see how much difference it makes. Like this is with it being quite low. This is with it being a little bit higher. And also the colour scheme. You want to kind of match everything. But you can also add a bit of colour like I did on the side. So because I prefer this around about here height wise rather than it being low. I'm going to borrow one of these stakes from the eggs. Just recycling, reusing items here. And I'm placing it through the hole. And then I'm going to see how long I want it. Think about there. And then I know how much to cut. I'm just going to bend right about where I want. Then I can take my pliers and cut its size. Perfect. <laughs> the once you're ready, take your hot glue to secure that in. As you can see, we have a few more gaps here, so I'm going to take this colour which almost matches and I think that looks beautiful. We're going to keep this side neutral and then this side a little bit more colourful. Let's see if I need to trim that again. Still filling in a bit of those gaps, just taking that same bouquet. This time I'm taking just heads separately and I'm playing again with the length, having one slightly higher and then the other is going to be low down right here. And then lastly with this small area here where the moss is showing, again I want to fill it but not too much and I feel like I have used enough flowers in this one. So I'm taking a bit of greenery from the bouquet and I think this might be the final piece. So on this area here you can leave it plain as is. I'm debating because I've got this and I felt like it might really finish it off nicely. I don't know if it's too much, so with without, I might go with. 
Isn't this so precious? I'm honestly having a really hard time choosing which is my favourite project and we've still got one more to go. I'm so happy with the makeover that I did on that rabbit. I think she looks much better now and I'm also really happy that I added the bow. I think that was the final touch. For the last project I'm going to be using this shabby chic part. I've got a bow and some trim for the outside decorating and then you want some bunny ears so you can have the ones on the headband or you can use ones like this and we can just cut them off the ones on the novelty glasses. You also want some flowers and the ones that I'm going to be using are two bunches. I got these from Timu and this is literally how I'm going to use it. So generally when I have an arrangement in a pot like this I will add cardboard or stuffing but because I'm going to just add the bouquets as they are it's going to puff it up so I don't need anything underneath. So simply just bending the wire like this and placing it inside and then we can move the flowers as we like as it's on wire. I want to add the second bouquet in as well. So we make some space there and then placing it in. Now we can start arranging it how we like. Once you've got your flowers how you like you can decorate the pot. So I'm going to hot glue this and then the bow in the centre. Now I need to see which one goes better so I'm just going to cut the ears off the glasses first. Okay these ones did not go, they were too small so I've just placed the headband straight in as you can see here and I'm pushing it in and then you can arrange the ears however you like, you can have them floppy, you can have them standing or you can do one standing and one floppy. How quick and easy was that? So simple but it looks so pretty. I really think this makes great decor, something you can make to sell and even gift. I really think the colours go so well together and it's just so soothing. This didn't cost me much at all to make. So that's it for today, three beautiful projects, I really hope they have inspired you and that you love them just as much as I do. Let me know your favourite in the comments below, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and to check the playlist that I mentioned earlier. Take care, bye for now.